The difference between a neutral wire and earth wire can be understood in this way. We know that to generate electrical energy, coil is made to rotate in a magnetic field. Consider a coil rotating in a magnetic field and producing 230 volt of alternating nature. If one terminal is earth here and the remaining one is brought apart to several kilometers, even though we can transfer electrical energy by taking another connection from earth at the load end, only the voltage of this conductor known as line conductor is varies in this case and the voltage of this conductor always remains zero. That's why it is named as neutral, neither positive nor negative. Due to the alternating that is changing nature of voltage, the flow of current also to and fro through the load. When line conductor become positive, the current drains out into the earth and during negative cycle, current comes out from the earth or we can say from neutral because this time the earth conductor is acting as a neutral conductor. This arrangement gives tremendous saving of copper as there is no need to carry two wires. This is the case of single phase system which is obsolete nowadays due to low power generation capability in comparison to three phase system which generate three times of power than single phase system. In three phase system, three similar coils displaced 120 degree from each other rotate in a magnetic field. Hence the voltage generated in each phase displaced in time with the other. Terminals of the coils can be connected in delta or in star. If a star connection is used, the one terminal from each coil are connected to a single terminal to form a single terminal known as neutral. Under normal working condition, for any instant, sum of the voltage of all three phases is zero. And hence, the voltage of neutral always remains zero and voltages of line conductor varies according to their phase position. Therefore, we have a neutral conductor. Again, if we make it ground at the generating station, there is no need to carry it up to several kilometers. Again, there is a lot of saving of conductor and hence reducing the transmission line cost. Now, when we come to the distribution of electrical power at the load end, we make use of delta 2 star connected transformer, which have delta connected primary winding needs only three line wire to get energized and secondary connected in star and again we get a neutral wire from star point directly means no need to create it from earth for distribution of power at domestic level where the power requirements are moderate for domestic purpose they can be energized through single phase only all the houses in a region of this transformer are divided equally among three phases. That means some of them will be given one line and neutral wire. Similarly, remaining houses are equally divided in the two phases. As far as load remain equal in three phases, the resultant voltage or neutral conductor remains zero as the system is symmetrical. In actual, loads on all three phases can never be equal and hence resultant voltage on neutral wire will not be equal to zero. To ensure that the voltage of neutral wire remains zero, it is earthed at near the distribution transformer. So this is about neutral wire which is provided us by electrical power distribution companies. The next wire is earth wire and generally we create it at our premises by ourselves. Proper earthing is made that is by making a pit on earth, rectangular copper plate or rod is buried inside it with coal. The plate is connected to galvanized iron wire which get connected to the body of any instrument when we connect it through electrical outlet. The voltage of earth wire is also remains zero just like neutral and therefore it can also take and give current. The purpose of earth wire 
is to provide protection in condition when due to any reasons our line wire get in direct contact with the instrument body due to which the voltage of instrument body get equals the line wire and hence in absence of earth wire suppose any person get in contact with the instrument and having a direct contact with earth will get shock due to flow of current from higher potential to the lower potential through the person's body using as a conductor to avoid such circumstances the earth wire should always be connected to the instrument body so that when leakage happens the current get drained directly in the earth and must not flow through the person's body so during normal working condition neutral wire works along with line wire to drive our load whereas earth wire works only in condition of leakage current sometimes earth wire is used in place of neutral wire to bypass energy meter to make it off and to cut down electricity rent this is totally wrong and illegal if we use line wire and connect earth wire in place of neutral our load still work normally as no current flow through neutral wire the energy meter will not record reading but excess current through our earth wire may cause damage to it and if suppose the earth connection get damaged from here due to the fact that the earth wire have connection with the bodies of all the instruments the voltage of all the instrument bodies will become equal to the live wire and this will cause danger to the life of the beings in the periphery of these instruments so this is the difference between neutral and earth wire hope you got it if yes please like and share it dear friend if you haven't subscribe our channel yet please subscribe and also press the bell icon then only you will get notification of our upcoming videos thank you